It's when the hustle and bustle of Christmas, I got mixed up on which day of Giermas it was. But today is day number 10. What's up backpackers? My name is Thor. Here on this channel we talk about all things backpacking, gear, tips and tricks, trip videos. If any of that sounds like it has value to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, turning on that bell notification so you don't miss a single video that I put out every single week, and make sure to hit a like if you find value in this video. This video is in a playlist that I've created called the 12 Days of Gear Miss. In with the 12 days leading up to Christmas, I review one piece of gear from my personal gear loadout and let you know what I think about it. So let's get to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Bursa Fanny Pack. First, I just wanted to say why I use a fanny pack. Number one, it creates an extra little bit of storage so I can have some extra snacks, my filming gear, or any extra things that I like to keep right on me, quick access, so that I'm not fumbling around trying to find it in other places. When I go on trips where I'm fishing, I also like to keep my fishing kit inside of my fanny pack so that when I go on a fishing trip, I just grab my pole, I grab my fanny pack, and I'm good to go. It's also super convenient if you are out backpacking, you decide to do a day hike or a little day trip, you can pack what you need in your fanny pack. Okay, so the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Versa Fanny Pack. There are a few different ways to use this. There's the traditional way. You can wear it on your waist. The other way that you can wear it is you can attach it through the back of this fanny pack onto your sternum pack so you've got all your items that you need right here. The other way that you can use this is on your hip belt. So in addition to the hip belts that are on there, once you get your hip belts loosened up, you can slide the hip belt through and you've got an additional huge hip belt pocket. Also, this can be just treated as a gear pod and with any roll top system, you can just cinch it down with the Y top closure and keep it on the top of your pack or throw it inside your pack. Now let's go over the specs. This is a DCF 50 material, which is gonna be highly water resistant. They don't claim this to be waterproof, but I've never had anything leak. All right, pockets. As you can see, there's a front pocket here. There's a main pocket here that has a demesh divider in the middle. So you've got two pockets internally in here. You've got a separator base. And then in the back of the fanny pack, you have another pocket where you can stuff small items, granola bars, or if you're not using the if you're not using the waist belt, you can stuff that in there for storage. Hip belt is a one inch webbing and it is removable if you decide to use it as a hip belt pocket or as a sternum pocket. Now let's talk about the volume of this. The volume is 2.25 liters, which may not sound like a lot, but I filled this up so you can see how much stuff this actually fits. So let's open it up and see how much is in here. So let's keep in mind that this is not full to capacity, but I just wanted you to see how much is in here. So in this front pocket, I've got one, two, three granola bars. In the main large pocket, I have a big banana, and I have this whole kit that has two things of Dr. Bronner's soap, a thing of toothpaste, two toothbrushes, some anti-diarrhea pills, and a stick of sunscreen. This whole bag was in there. In addition to that, I threw my car keys on, which have three or four keys, house keys, and a small knife. So as you can see, there's really a lot of capacity to this. This really can be a game changer, especially if you're trying to go ultra light and you're worried about space inside your pack. This will create an extra little bit of amount on the outside of your pack if you're looking to cut your base weight or if you're just looking to simplify your gear system. Weight on the Versa is 2.91 ounces or 83 grams. This is ultra light. It's made out of Dyneema composite fabric with YKK zippers. It's a very high quality piece of gear at a very light weight. All right guys, well if I haven't convinced you to use a fanny pack by now, I don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, the HMG Versa has been my favorite fanny pack. I've used several other types of fanny packs and this has just been my favorite. It's ultra light, it's durable, it's highly water resistant, and it has a lot of storage capacity. So consider checking out the HMG Versa for your gear loadout. All right guys, that was today's video. If you found value in today's video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel, including this playlist of the 12 Days of Gearmas. Backpackers, happy holidays, and thanks for stopping by.